Hey, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Prophecy, the foretelling or prediction of what is to come. Something that is declared by a prophet, especially a divinely inspired prediction, instruction or exhortation. Now, in regards to uh, one of the major prophecies in these last days, World War Three, when I came into this uh, truth, the, I was taught by the prophets of Great Millstone, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that according to holy scripture and prophecy, there's going to be a third world war mainly involving America and Russia as the two, um, uh, um, you know, opposing sides, man. And that the end of that war is going to be the nuclear destruction of America and the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And um, I can tell you that I've been in this truth for, you know, several years now. And every year, if your eyes are open, you can see that eventuality getting closer and closer and closer and closer just building and building and building all right and you i've heard how different people have tried to dismiss it and, oh it's never gonna happen and this that and the other you know things heat up they might subside a little bit then they heat up again even more and 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 that's the deal the fact of the matter is is that we come out here man and giving the glory unto Yahweh Sham Yahweh Shai and 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 um uh, bring through bringing out the scriptures show you that these things were, were were spoken of before we were even born because this is not by the will of men but by the will of the living power Yahweh Sham Yahweh Shai man and his word at which we gonna get that Isaiah the 55th chapter man his word don't come back void if the Lord prophesy a war there ain't no gonna be no peace, man. And if the Lord prophesied peace, there ain't gonna be no war, regardless of what man wanna do or what the intentions in a man's heart's heart is. It's gonna be shifted to fulfill the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Now I wanna read this article because I'm gonna pull a point out of it. In fact, in fact, before I read the article, let me just um, prove what I just said in the scriptures. Um, this is uh, Isaiah. Uh, I want to get fifty-five. Right, and this is basic scripture, but the point hits hits hard. <laughs> All right, this is just a a, a basic jab, but it will, it will knock you, lick your head back every time. Isaiah fifty-five. And, and um 10 for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven returneth not thither but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i sent it so when the lord lay down prophecy that prophecy cannot be overturned that prophecy is going to come to pass all right now you see when um when president trump came into power you had a lot of people saying oh it was it was hillary oh 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 my god if hillary had gotten into power it would have been world war three all this bs because they they they're they're fixated on the 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 things of 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 men man they're fooled by by the things of men they don't understand that the lord is in control otherwise they would know exactly what was going to go down oh trump is going to make friends with putin or oh, it, it was obama and all this bs no no yeah it ain't going to be peace all right and what do you see a, a continuation of the uh, uh, of the proxy war, your continuation of the build-up since Trump has gotten into administration, man. 
a lot of these idiots they thought they thought in their vain mind that Trump was gonna uh, 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 um, stop the, the the train man the war train nah nah he gonna put the the foot the pedal to the put the pedal to the metal <laughs> all right now a scale of anti-Russia frenzy proves scripple case was on only pretext Russia's U.S. embassy. The smoothly coordinated, and which I brought out in a video showing you, the scripture tells you how that these have one mind and will give the, their power unto the beast. So, so it, it shouldn't surprise you that that America and NATO and, and EU are coordinating themselves against Russia. All right, that's what it means to coordinate. You become as one mind. The smoothly uh, coordinated and broad effort. That led to the biggest collective expulsion of Russian diplomats in history, right? And they're still, this is still filling the front pages over here in the UK. Putin's face is all over the front pages of the Metro, the Sun, all these different newspapers. I wonder if we can um, get that up. See, you see, Russian, Russian, you got some, you know, Corbyn and the anti Semitism bullshit. Them so called Jews are, you know, yeah, they had to have their little spotlight. Russia again, Russia, Russia warns the West, we will strike back. You know what I mean? See how they use the word strike? You know, they're trying to make Russia look like they're the aggressor. Strike. They're going to strike back. Um, May we've crippled Russia's spy web. Putin the pariah. What the hell? Tran and wife. Oh my God. Fucking. Trans actor Jake Scraff who was born a girl to transgender army officer Hannah Winterborn. <sighs> God. Anyway, if you look to the left of that... <sighs> oh, my. <sighs> Man. If you look to the left of that, that confusion... <sighs> Man, we got to get out of here. And uh, that's why this World War Three got to come, man. Our world expels Putin's spooks, you know. So you see, you know. I don't know. The star, I don't know about that. That's okay. The world versus bad Vlad, you see. So that's in the star. Daily Express, world unites against the world. The world. <laughs> nah, mate. It's 22 countries, okay. It's not the world. <laughs> All right, and the Metro as well had it, and so so they're pushing it. They're gonna ride this till the wheels fall off. All right. Yeah, they're preparing the minds of the people that Russia is the enemy. All right, so it says uh, smoothly coordinated and broad effort that led to the biggest collective expulsion of the Russian diplomats in history was likely premeditated. Which I said that yesterday. It was obviously premeditated. All right. You know, it's, you, you know, we don't even know if the guy was actually poisoned, okay? That's how bad it is. For all we know, that dude's sitting up somewhere in a hotel here in London, you know, with a couple, you know, expendable prostitutes, man, and some, and some, um, some caviar, all right? That's for all we know. It's just, it's, it is what it is. That's how it, it goes, man. Esau is a hoax. The king of hoaxes. The Russian ambassador to the US has said the Salisbury incident was just a trigger. Russia's ambassador to the US, Anatoly Antonov, has his doubts about Washington's justification behind the expulsion of dozens of Russian diplomat staff. The US alone accounted for over half of all the diplomats that have been forced to leave for Russia. In addition, Washington closed the Russian consulate in Seattle, citing its proximity to a U.S. naval base and Boeing facilities. 
you know, <laughs> pointing out that such an explanation leaves no room for the scripples. Antonov argued that the decision was waiting for a convenient pretext to materialize. The scale of inflicted damage and proceed and the preceding information campaign speak of the fact that it had been planned beforehand. Yeah, you can obviously see that this is a, a um, a Tavistock Institute um, planned propaganda campaign, man. All right. Simply postponed for the right moment. The expulsions coincided with the, the, the mall fire tragedy in Russia's Kemerovo, which claimed the lives of 64 people, many of them children. Antonov says Washington showed emotionless deafness, indifference and callousness in adding insult to injury by coming out with reprisals on that day, the diplomat said. Well, glow all you want, especially when ordinary Americans share our belief and send their condolences. Thank you, friends. <laughs> that's that. That's that Russian um counter counter propaganda right there. And Russians don't care about no American people, but they they can't afford to send them send the message that they don't like the American people. It's all a big game, all right. Because you want you want to try and um pacify the hearts of the American people if you're gonna go to war. You don't want to show yourself to be an enemy. All right, big mind games these people pay when they say things they say, man. This is a whole different level. Antonov said, while the time of Washington's decision was at the very least offbeat, the ambassador said Russia will not let itself be carried away by emotion when preparing a response. Truth will always prevail. We shall not be provoked into an emotional outburst, but there will be a response. While Washington claims the expelled diplomats were all covert intelligence operatives posing a danger to U.S. national security, according to Antonov, they were actually in charge of the fields in which the U.S. and Russia still occasionally find common ground. Because you'll find that even though America and Russia have been engaged in like a giant proxy war against each other on many levels for the last decade or so, they still partner up together on certain things. But now that's being cut off. The uh, the people who were being expelled were in charge for those few areas which barely keep our mutually beneficial cooperation afloat. Space, science, trade, culture and archival searches for POW and MIAs. Restoration of relations and search for points of contact have been set back. Speaking of the inherent causes of the UK's and the US's growing alienation from Moscow, Antonov suggested that the Russian threat is needed to distract people from pressing issues at home. All right. Our opponents hate to see a strong and powerful Russia, which has recently demonstrated its capabilities. He stressed, adding that the internal problems of countries will not slip away with more Russia bashing. Early hopes that the Trump administration might opt out of the hostile policy conducted by Obama administration have been quashed as Trump's White House has failed to deliver on his own call for cooperation. All right. And like I said, that's because this war is prophecy and Trump ain't going to come in and stop the prophecy. He going only forward the prophecy. All right. Words of readiness to cooperate have gone completely separate ways which, with actual actions. Despite the promises, the current administration takes the course of its predecessor, the diplomat said. Yeah, this guy. Well, and like Apostle Tahar says, man, he got to be the man for the job. Him and Putin, they got to be the guys, man. All right. They, they look like they are definitely the guys that's going to bring this thing in. Okay. Hey. That's the nature of this devil, man. <clears throat> Psalms 55 and 20. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. 
you know, Trump was talking all that corporation crap, our Russian friends and all this shit. Nah, man, that's all BS, man. All right, that's all BS. But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Yeah, sometimes with these people, you you got you can't always look at what they say. You gotta look at what they do. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. All right. Uh, so that's that. And then I wanted to get <clears throat> scripture in. Second Peter is three and ten, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. See, the majority of people, they don't really truly understand the the impending. I, imagine if people actually understood that World War Three is. A done deal that like it's actually going to happen people would operate a lot different don't you think don't you think if the average person out there truly believed that look man yep world war three is a hundred percent this is what's going to happen people will be operating people will turn into these doomsday preppers overnight wouldn't they but they're not and that shows you that the the most people they still really believe in peace they think peace is is the future that's why this this the whole deal is going to catch them like a thief in the night, man. Even with all this propaganda, the average person doesn't understand that this is World War Three being prepared right here. They're just thinking, yeah, you know, them Russians. Uh, they don't understand the, the, the inevitability of the mass destruction that's going to come to a city where they live. They don't understand that. Of course they don't understand that. They're, they're, their minds, to the most part, are really distracted, man away from that those thoughts to really sit down and think they don't really when they, they don't see these things and really sit down and think about the implications man they don't have the time all right it's going to catch them out man this is our first Thessalonians 5 and 3 for when they shall say peace and safety Oh, oh, yeah, Trump's going to come in. You know, uh, if, if we let Hillary in, Hillary was going to cause World War Three. Trump's going to come in. He's going to fix everything. He's going he gonna to stop the deep state. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. He's going to make America great again. He's going to make, he, we're going to be drinking vodka with the Russians on, on the White House lawn. <laughs> For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape, man. A lot of you in that day, you're gonna wanna take for yourself. You gonna you gonna wish that you 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 left America. You gonna wish that you left Britain. You left. <laughs> you gonna wish you were somewhere else. You are gonna be thinking, damn, if I knew, I would have I would have been I would somewhere else, man. <laughs> hey, man. Especially in America, man. America's gonna be like the worst possible place you could be. America and probably Europe, man. It's going to be on fire, man, on some real shit. It's going to be terrible, man. Hey. Hey. It's what you deserve. <laughs> Isaiah 47 and 11. It says, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, and thou shalt know, not know from whence it riseth. A lot of you people, man, you, you're going to be surprised with what's about to go down. You're going to be like... Why didn't somebody warn me about this? <laughs> and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. You're going to be trying to call time out. But ain't going to be no time out. You ain't going to be ready for what's about to go down. Even these preppers ain't really ready. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. All right. 
So World War Three, man, it's um in the works and it's moving forward to that inevitability. Cause the scriptures say if man, these these nations were set up to go into perdition. Let's get that. That's the, the destiny. To the, the destiny. Mm. The good America, man. America's destiny. And the beast that was and is not even he is the eighth. And is of the seventh. Yeah, the eighth. That represents America. The seventh is Britain. Because America came out of Britain. And goeth into perdition. So America's always been on that road to perdition, man. And this is all part of it. And it's going to end in World War Three. Alright, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.